Mm. Although, wow. It, but it was in New York. The, the real wrestlers are in like Iowa, you know, in Oklahoma. Oh, I'm sure there's some wrestlers. There's some, but if you really balance New it York out, it's not. no tough guys? Uh, we got tough guys, but they'll shoot you or punch you in the face. <laughs> They're not wrestling with wrestling moves. But anyhow, uh, what you want is a match that's interesting to observe, not where one person dominates the other. In wrestling, they know this. There are 10 weight categories. In high school, I was 190 pounds. That was 50 pounds ago or more. I was 190 pounds, very good incentive to stay there because if I were one pound over, the next category was unlimited. So I was there at 190 pounds. I'm not wrestling someone 127. No, they find somebody else at 127 to wrestle 127. That makes the match more interesting for the viewer. So if we can split wrestling into 10 categories and that becomes the wrestling match. But all men against each other. Correct. So, okay, so again, now I get sort that. Sort of key point. Okay. <laughs> okay. So all That's I'm saying is, what is it that makes the man the man? Is it the hormones? Okay. okay. Is it If it's the hormones and you decide to give yourself a different cocktail of hormones, I, I'm making this up, by Why the way. You, but, I'm not saying it should happen this way. It's a way to start thinking okay, about it. It would be... Maybe the track meets have... Hormone categories. And maybe giving yourself the wrong hormones is deleterious to your health. Would you not admit that? Do you think we can just safely do things like this? So you Would feel this way because you're concerned about, you're so deeply concerned about the health of the people who are trying to find their place on the well, gender spectrum? You care about their health so much that yeah, you don't it, want well, them to it, go through that? It's not something that keeps me up at night, but when the right. subject comes up, yeah. I care about them like I care about all people. Mm -hmm. So if there is you something- You do, by the way. You think about all people. Of course. Yeah, I'll give, that that. A, I'll that give you that. That's oh, okay. Good. You're being you think sincere. about all people. No, I'm being sincere. Yeah, I do. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Old school liberal. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I want all people to have, you know, make this very challenging world that we live in mm -hmm. better. So that's why there's honest debate about this issue. And we, why don't we cut keep it off? Keep the debate honest. Yeah. Why don't we cut it off now? Because, like, we're not going to solve this. Mm -hmm. We set our pieces. Mm -hmm. We get it. I want to plug your book. Because I, I know you have to run to your film what do you think? Oh, yeah, I got a thing. So, yeah, but don't leave me before I have my full time with you. But to infinity and beyond, I do want to see, often I'm too stoned to remember to do the plug. And tonight I'm so proud of myself because I'm like a <laughs> well, fucking pro. Oh. But I, I think it's because I was reading it myself and I was really enjoying oh, it. Oh, okay. And it's got pictures, which I really yeah, like. Yeah, it's published with National I know, Geographic books. Like almost on every other and they, page. And they only know it's how to make like, a beautiful book. Psychologically, it's like a lot easier to get through scientific <laughs> material, which it also has a lot of. If yes. there's like a picture, oh, look at that, the pretty one of that big ball in yeah, space, yeah, with the, the yeah. one with the ring around yeah, it. Yeah. How, how's that that's one? Uranus right there, right? That's that, 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 yeah, what Uranus this looks like <laughs> really I just i just picked the right page and you have a ring on your anus, i got right? a real challenge for this okay anyway no, so, so it's written it's, i have a co-author who's my who's my um Lindsay senior Nicks producer walker. Lindsay, oh, okay. Lindsay walker okay. uh this is a collaboration between my podcast star talk right which has been around for like 14 years like one before, of the biggest before, before I, I aspire to be at your level oh no, really no, no your absolutely. podcast is one of the hugest okay and what we do is we got three dna strands science pop culture and humor well, did you see the big thing they have now with that Bono? Oh, the, the, the sphere. The, I, I got a call from the guy. He wants me to gonna, do something in the. You're the, the natural. The animated exterior of the sphere. But couldn't yeah. you use that sphere to do like the greatest TED talk ever? Yeah, probably. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Monis. Well, you probably. No, no. Could. I mean, I, I mean, I could probably. I, I wasn't saying probably to give the greatest ever. Probably there, there are talks that befitting that space. The guy was in there. He's, he runs the Madison Square Garden. We should there. do a talk, a public talk together. I bet you we could sell so. a lot of tickets. Oh man, right? Uh, in that sphere, you like money. <laughs> right. I like I like money. You like money, right? We all like yeah, money. Yeah. Who doesn't like money? Yeah. I'm telling you. I think we could do. I could think we could do some business. Knock out that theater. We can. Uh, we can do that. All right, man. So and my people call your people. I, I, <laughs> I, I when I but I I, drove, I was in Vegas last weekend and I drove by it and it's. I don't know, either love it or it's creepy. It looks like AI has landed and taken over. Like, yeah. like that's the first thing I thought was like, oh, these people who say well, in the movie, AI the day, in the movie, <laughs> in the remake of The Day the Earth Stood Still with Keanu mm. Reeves, the aliens land in Central Park, not in Washington, D.C. as right. in the original. And it's a big sphere in the middle of Central Park. It's always a big sphere in those yeah. movies. And yeah. 
and as long as we're on that subject, I know we've argued about this before. I don't have a dog in this fight. I hope we're not taken over by the aliens, but I'm not gonna make, <laughs> I'm not gonna make a big fight about it if they come. Uh -huh. But I feel like, and I don't know for sh anything for sure, nobody does. It just feels like more and more, it's getting harder to make the other case that there are not people who are watching us. And again, I don't know if there's anything unscientific about the idea that there would be other life in the universe. I don't know if you saw, if you watched the uh, Hard Knocks show on uh, HBO where they go to the training camp with the football teams, but Aaron Rodgers, who's a super smart guy, he sat in that chair, love him. He told a story about, I don't know where he was, somewhere in the South, and his friend walked out in the porch together. They were not drunk, they were not asleep, two people. And they saw a giant, what <laughs> can only be described as a flying saucer, just a giant big thing that then left like at the speed of light. And then a couple of minutes later, two US jets flew over. I believe him. I, I can't, am I 100% that this was a flying saucer or aliens? No, but it just seems likely. Was this 20 years ago? This was, no, I don't think so. Then I, the dude oh, no, has a been smartphone. It could have been. He has a smartphone that can take high resolution video and stills. NASA so Maybe is, it was 20 years ago. Well, that's my point. So, so No, they were gobsmacked. They were like. Okay, I, so I, in the day, you only had cameras when you were on vacation. So everything was eyewitness testimony. I got abducted. I got this. I saw that. Now everybody's got a camera. NASA's setting up a clearinghouse. You take your smartphone, take a picture of your UFO, and your, okay, it, but, the metadata has your location, the angle of the phone, the direction. You send it in, okay. and they can co co but, collate this. I just want to ask this on a more philosophical level. Yeah. Just why wouldn't they, uh, and I think we should just be happy that they're monitoring and not attacking, but what? It makes sense to me that, first of all, there could be other people in the universe, other beings. Sure. And there's an awful, no problem there. awful lot of people who have similar stories about similar sort of looking creatures. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that book Communion, I don't know. Yeah, that started, that, that set the standard for what an alien should look like. Okay. With the tri triangle well, a lot face, of people, big almond eyes. Yes, yeah. people seem to have the same story. Now we have military people, Navy fighter jets testify. In Congress, uh, we've seen things we cannot explain. It could be China has a technology we don't, we don't, obviously, we don't know. Um, but it just seems like it's not unscientific to think that the aliens would be like, you know, these assholes are very self-destructive and we just need to keep an eye on them. And yes, we might have to send Keanu Reeves down there to say, look, we are so sorry about this. We Remember were, the movie. We Good. tried not to wipe you out, the the but you scared. assholes you. are just, you're, we may need this planet and you're fucking it up. I'm glad you remembered So that. we're going in a different direction. Oh, wow. <laughs> so my, re my reaction <laughs> is, I, I want to meet the aliens. I just need better evidence than right. what has been presented. Right. So if they are aliens, I would like better evidence than simple eyewitness sworn testimony. In science, what you swear on is not the measure of what is true. It's just the measure of what you think is true in your mind. But I need better data than but that. What, what do you think Aaron Rodgers saw? I don't what know. do you think happened that night? The universe brims with mysteries, and I don't know. I, I, yeah, but this one seemed kind of obvious. A giant. So that must be why. I met him at a Rangers game in the garden. I just feel. I met him at a Rangers. I, and he's new to the city. He's a, yeah. he's a small town guy. Boy, did and, he take that time. I know. So I said, look, this is my. This, I felt very, very. You know, this is my town, you know? Yeah. And I, d director of the planetarium? Yeah. C come by. I told him this. And th now, why should anyone ever act on that? But he did. So, of course he did. So in the two week gap between the last. The last um, exhibition game and the first game, I got a call from his agents and said, he wants to come by and visit the planetarium. Cool. I said, bring him by. And then they said, oh, but can he bring 25 of right. his? Right, <laughs> he does that. <laughs> he goes to Broadway shows like that. With, the, with his with, whole crew. Yeah, with like 25 jets. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. And so then they canceled at the last minute and then he tears up his Achilles heel. So I think I could have given him some physics advice so that wouldn't have happened. I know, but what a badass. A guy who goes to, gets the job in New York and goes, you know what, I'm so macho. I'm going to take a bunch of fucking football players out to every show on Broadway and Taylor Swift's show. <laughs> it was brilliant because, you know, New York I would is, have fun with them. They didn't come by. But. New York is Broadway, too. Yeah, it is Broadway, totally. You know, it's especially so, Broadway. Right? You know, you want to embrace the city? Yeah. I mean, he's more popular on crutches than any <laughs> athlete that has been walking in 20 years. <laughs> I'm so, latter day friends with his ex-girlfriend, um, the race car driver. Race car driver. Yeah, yeah. He dated. Uh, not to get all gossipy, but. Uh, 
<laughs> Who did? Oh, oh, I think I know. Danica Patrick. Yeah, Danica Patrick. Yeah. Really? Yeah, she's got her own podcast. I've been on podcast twice, and we talked about Aaron Rodgers in the last interview, and I told her this story. He said he's a very fun-loving guy, and he would would have. Because I was going to tweet, had he come by, I would have given him some physics advice so he wouldn't t tear his ankle. But I thought that was insensitive. She said, no, he would have totally dug it. Totally on my page with the medical stuff. <laughs> so, But let's not go back to there. I'm, so let me just say, I, yeah, I need I, eyewitness testimony without independent okay. data obtained by something that is not your brain. Okay? Right. The human sensory system is rife, as we said earlier in this conversation, about optical illusions, and you don't know what you're looking at. So... <laughs> but two guys saw a giant spaceship hovering above them at the same time. Maybe it was aliens. I just Now, what happened to all the people who were abducted, as they told their psychiatrists? Their assholes if, were sore. They, they, no! No, no, they were. <laughs> they testified to that. I, that, that does yeah, that make they, it what? objectively true? No, it just means that they believe they're telling the truth. What I'm saying well, is, all of the abduction stories so that were filling this in the 1970s, but you're old enough to remember all this. Back when in my day... <laughs> <laughs> so Wait. all these abduction stories, they all went away in the era of the smartphone because we can record that and we don't. There are no... Well, maybe the aliens know that. Okay, so that was the excuse for when someone claimed to have taken regular cameras and the like, film was blank. So now, because of the ACLU and cops beating up black people, you can stream whatever is in your phone to the internet, to their servers, while it's happening. And we don't have any shots inside the... So here's what you do. Next time you're abducted, right. steal an ashtray off the, off the shelf. And then when you're... <laughs> then, if you don't get a picture, then you have a, a, an artifact of alien manufacture, and then we can analyze it and say, hey, Look, you had a real encounter. I, 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 again, I'm not dying on this hill because I don't know. I'm just saying that's what I'm saying. We don't know. I find... Correct. Two, we don't know. And we the don't, evidence put right. forth... I is, I'm just the I, weight of that evidence is not magnified by someone swearing to tell the truth. I know, but 200 simultaneous sore assholes is, <laughs> is, some, is something. <laughs> okay, that's hard. That that's that's good evidence, right? <laughs> I think I like better than making you laugh like that. Nothing. The, the okay, asshole so, defense. So. <laughs> so AI. AI, what? <laughs> AI, AI. Yeah, what do you want? What do I want? Um, we, I, I've, we've had AI for decades, I, and all of a sudden, <laughs> AI can now, in science, and it's all around us at all times, what do you think Siri is? It's not a human being. I know, but it's, Tell, got, but it's gotten to a new level. I'm getting there. So I'm okay. saying, so now AI can compose your term paper, and now you poop your pants, okay? What, what happened? <laughs> what? AI can compose your term paper. And why did I put my pen? Because, well, everyone thinks that AI is going to take over their lives and their jobs and their livelihood and all the rest of it. Right. But AI has been with us for decades. It, of course, it's getting better at all times. Right. It's but what I'm saying is I think it made started making headlines because it started touching the lives of liberal arts people. Well, also because they made it mass for the masses. Chat GPT yeah. didn't exist yeah. a, a year. I remember it was almost a year ago, yeah. about a year ago, that I first saw, was at a restaurant with someone, and they said, do you have Chat GPT? I said, no, I just read something. What is that again? Yeah, 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 and, yeah. I mean, that was only a year ago, and now it's a household word, household. and everybody it. use it yeah, for everything. That's a quantum leap from where we were a year ago. So... You know, it's like, yes, was there TV in 1939 or something? Yes, no one had it, and then everyone had it, and right. it changed. It's a quantum leap. So and it, yes, this changes things. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. I agree. So? So you want to watch out. You don't want it to become our overlords any more than you want nuclear so, weapons see, to destroy the world. And so you put in some restrictions. But what happened is people started seeing AI, and then they lump all of AI into this one concern. If they had any clue how much AI is influencing their lives at any given moment, no, they not... wouldn't possibly say that. Well, I don't know. I don't know why those... Th Who do you think's flying your airplane? Do you think a pilot is actually making important decisions up there? He's, no. It... He's landing it, yes. Well, yeah, they choose to, but they don't Well, to. landing is so important to me. <laughs> I, I Landing don't know. softly. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. They, they choose to it keeps them... Keeps them... Keeps yeah, the, I, I, the blood flowing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We, okay, but the, I mean, you're setting up an opposition that I don't think is No, real. it's not an opposition. We, we I, get... I agree AI can be abused, especially if they have deep fakes that are videos and things. They, they can listen to, they can sample your voice and say, 
invent five jokes that Bill Maher has never told, but in the style of Bill Maher. Yeah, and they've, they've tried that. And there it is. They suck. <laughs> they're, they're not there yet. I was interviewed by an AI chat program on a podcast. And, and, I, and, and? and I said, are, there were perfunctory questions, and they were, I wasn't very interested. I said, can I ask, I asked the guy, organized, I want to ask the thing back a couple of questions. They said, sure. Was it as fun as this? I, <laughs> come no, on. It was very, yes. it was very. I don't want to live in that uh, world, yeah. do you? Okay, no, so we'll put right. restrictions on it. Well, okay, I mean, that's been the big argument is like some people like Elon Musk have saying from the beginning, this is an existential threat. I think he's right because I think I've seen too many movies where this happens. All in the movies, it happens in all the movies. Everything that happens in movies eventually happens in life. That's the theory I go with, it, because it's true. And this, I don't want to agree with that, but I kind of have to agree. It does. They kinda, imagine it first. I, I remember in Minority Report, the Spielberg movie with Tom Cruise, yeah, yeah. the it's, future comes, and they have the, that. This facial recognition well, for everybody yeah, the fa going? Right, and the screens. Yeah. Like he was moving, we, now, we had no screens that do it. Yeah, that was yeah. like science fiction. Yeah. And then three years later, we were all doing it. Then, then they had the, uh, the eyeball, yes. uh, uh, the retinal scan, yes. and then they needed the retinal scanner of someone right. who had access, but they just killed him. So they carved out his eyeball right. in a plastic bag and put the eyeball in front of the thing. And he walks into the mall, and there's all those, fa you know, the ads are all yeah. moving. Like, yeah. we didn't have that then, yeah. but now we have all that now. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. So I feel like we could have okay. robot overlords. Okay, so maybe. I mean, it was 1968 when Crowbrook made, I can't do that, Dave. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. I can't do that. Okay, 2001, a space audit, 1968, you remembered it. Before we went to the moon. Before we went to the yes, moon. Yes, it was, okay. Or as some of my audience would say, if. <laughs> <laughs> That's your audience? Okay, you're, you're proud no, of that? No, but- You're proud are, of that? Okay. There are people, no, not many, but I've had people. I'll work on them, we can double, and, we'll the, tag team them. Uh, I don't know why that one, I, that's a, a strange conspiracy theory. No, it's not me. strange in the flat earthers. Be we, uh, that's even sillier. Yeah, I can but. watch a football game in the winter in New York City and the sun has set, yet it is still up in the Rose Bowl in California. There's no way to explain that unless Earth is curved between New York. There's some very simple I know. explanation but here. But again, but. you're speaking so, to so <laughs> the people. I want to end on a positive note. Yes. So Ray Bradbury, great science fiction oh. writer, he was once approached by a fan and said, uh, Mr. Bradbury, why do you write these stories with these apocalyptic futures? Is that the future you think we're going to occupy? He says, no. I write about those futures so you know to avoid them. Right. So maybe those movies have inculcated us no, I truly believe with it. the fear factor that needs to be there to make sure that doesn't happen. Right. The other thing that has been depicted in a zillion movies is the apocalyptic post-nuclear war landscape the Book of Eli, and oh, there's so many of those kind of movies. Uh, you know the famous quote from Albert Einstein. I don't know how World War III will be fought, right? But World or, War IV will be fought with sticks and stones, right? And the, it's always the same thing. There's got to be ten movies where, uh, you know, before the war, and then the war comes where humans wipe out everybody because they're so stupid. This is why we need Keanu Reeves to come down. <laughs> uh, but then it's like the council, yes, you, you yes, know, yes, yes. always, always headed by a pantsuited women. It, it's either Kate Winslet or, or uh, pants. Did you notice what they're wearing? Yeah, because we did a bit on it once. Oh, no. There's like there's like eight <laughs> movies where they're all like oh, wow. in the pants, and that they're that the head of the council. Does HBO and, put it on YouTube, or I gotta like subscribe? HBO Max, my show, yeah, is on HBO Max or HBO. No, but the clips, do they do they make it to YouTube? Uh, yes, Sometimes? Abs yes, yeah, absolutely, okay. always. Yeah. Um, yeah, whatever you do, don't watch the whole show. Anyway, <laughs> great to see you too. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's it's always like um, <laughs> it's always like you know the world was ended because humans were stupid, and now we cannot allow humans to be human. We cannot allow emotions, except for this band of hot teenagers <laughs> who are going to take back the world by being hot, and they do. You know, that's always, there's a little band of resistance that fights, yeah, yeah. you know, because we can't allow humans to have emotions. But right. I, you started this conversation by saying what scares you, kind of, I'm, maybe I'm paraphrasing, but what scares me is a very similar thing. Like, how can we survive when we see the way people think? The things that people do and what they believe my version and what of that you is, can convince them of is crazy. My version of that, that is... That we're still here. I 
fear that we are not wise enough to be the shepherds we need to be for the future of civilization. Well said, Grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, no, I, no. I know no. you gotta go. Gotta go, dude. Love you always. <laughs> Xác định pha ban đầu của dao động, đúng không ạ? Tức là phi đó các bạn. Thì các bạn coi này. Dựa vào điều kiện ban đầu chúng ta thấy tại thời điểm T bằng 0 X nó bằng 0 đây Nó nằm ở ngay vị trí cân bằng và đi lên Đúng không ạ? À? Đi lên Để chờ X nó nằm ngay vị trí cân bằng và đi theo chiều dương Vậy chúng ta mở cái đường tròn lượng giác ra Đây các bạn mở đường tròn lượng giác ra Đây là vị trí O Đây là vị trí biên dương Đây là vị trí biên âm Thì tại thời điểm T bằng 0 Vật ở qua vị trí cân bằng và đi lên biên dương Tức là nó Đối với đường tròn lượng giác thì chắc chắn nó nằm ở vị trí này Đúng không? Để chiếu lên nó ở ngay vị trí cân bằng Và tiếp tục nó quay theo chiều dương Tức là nó mới đi về biên dương được Còn điểm M0 nằm ở đây thì không được Nếu điểm M0 nằm đây thì mặc dù chiếu xuống nó có ly độ vẫn là không Nhưng nó quay như thế này thì nó đi về biên âm rồi Như vậy Bài toán này không được nằm trên này mà M0 phải nằm ở đây. Và góc này chính là góc phi nè các bạn. Và nhìn vào đây chúng ta thấy phi nó bằng trừ bi trên 2. Được chưa? Đó. Đó là đối với pha của bài này. Rồi cái pha của bài này. Các bạn coi nè. Thầy giải cái pha của bài nè. Bài toán đồ thị này xem coi nó như thế nào đây. Tìm pha của hàng này. Tại thời điểm T bằng 0, X có phải nó ở ly độ 2 không? Ly độ 2 và đang đi về biên dương, biên dương tức là đi theo chiều dương không? Đi lên 4, đúng không ạ? À? Như vậy mình vẽ cái đồ thị ra. Được chưa? Mình vẽ cái đường tròn lượng giác ra. Đây, các bạn vẽ cái đường tròn lượng giác nè. Đây là 0 nè. Đây là 4 nè. Bên này là trừ 4 nè. 2 